My setup at work hasn't changed much in a long time. I've got the same chair, the same custom desk PC, and even the same peripherals that I've had for years now, because once I find something that I'm comfortable with, I generally like to just stick with it. The one exception is my monitor. Over the years, I've gone from 16 by nine to ultra wide to even ultra wider. And as you guys can see here, I am still struggling to fit all the things that I do on a very regular basis onto a single display. So today I have the solution. This is actually something that I've wanted to do for quite some time and I'm finally pulling the trigger. I am going dual monitor, but not in the way you might think. I am going dual, super mega ultra wide, 49 inch monitor. Oh yeah. And they're gonna be stacked. On the face of it, an upgrade like this is pretty simple. You open up the monitor, chuck it on the desk, plug in a display cable, and you're pretty much good to go. The problem is that as you guys can see, Fitting two of these side by side on my desk is not going to work very well. Fortunately, ah, we're gonna try this, which I think will work even though it's not technically rated for the full weight of these two displays. Caution, heavy. All right, so let's start by opening up the monitor. Unlike some of the earlier 49 inch, like extra wide monitors, this one, has a very similar pixel density to the original 3440 by 1440 ultra wide. So because it's even wider, it's still 1440 pixels high, but it's actually 5120 pixels wide. So it's kind of the equivalent of 5K, except sliced in half down the middle. That gives you effectively both the resolution and area of two 27 inch 1440p monitors side by side with no bezel down the middle. It occurs to me I don't actually need the stand. <clears throat> One moment, please. Oh, touched my face. Sanitizing time. You already touched it, it's too late. And I might touch it again, so I'm gonna sanitize. Oh, man, these things are beasts. Oh boy. It's really nice that most curved monitors these days ah, still manage to include a standard vase amount because there was a while there where you had to get like weirdo special adapters that you had to purchase, assuming you could even find them. And it's easy to say, well, curved monitors are stupid. Why don't you just get a non-curved monitor? But the thing is, when something is this wide, the curve actually does make a difference. So it'll help with any color shift that you might get. I mean, it's an IPS panel, so it won't be a ton but you will get a little bit and also just makes it a little bit more natural. So you're looking head on to the display, even when you turn your head, which you'll do. This is really heavy. I need to put this down. Ah, okay. Whew. None of this has been a surprise so far though. That's the exact same monitor I'm already using. The X Factor is the Vivo monitor table stand. It's rated for 27 inches stacked on top. These are basically 27s, but two of them so as long as their weight restriction here has some buffer built into it, I figure, eh, we should be all right. Nuts down. Where'd this come from? Must go the other way then. The slotted ones are here. So unless you want it to be able to slide out, but then I guess you anchor it with, you know what? I'll look at the instructions. Oh, I missed a step. Gee, pull cover. I don't see an obvious way to detach the plate from the mount here. So yeah, I really think it'd be easier to slide the monitor on. Then again, maybe not. I don't know, it's gonna be so heavy by the time I'm doing that. There really doesn't seem to be an industry standard for who is supposed to provide the screws for a vase mount. Here, LG has included the screws, but I've seen lots of monitors that don't include the screws. I'm gonna use LG's screws. They're black and they match. Oh shoot, I forgot the washers. Does it matter? We're gonna put the washers on. Okay, this here, this thing weighs about 30 pounds. Oh. Ow, my finger. You know, maybe there's something to be said for Apple's thousand dollar stand. I don't know if I can wrench this any tighter. Okay. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm cranking this so hard. I'm worried it's gonna shear off. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh. 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 I think it's holding. Wow, that was an uncomfortable amount of pressure. Time for the tricky part now. So long there, buddy. Nice knowing you. Wow, where am I gonna put my webcam? Oh, okay. This time I'm gonna crank this mount while it's easy to get at because we are way over the rated weight. How are you gonna do that? You need two people, I feel. No, I got this, don't worry. Oh my God, so long. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> oh no, the plastic insert is coming out, but it's it's on there too much to easily get it off now. Hopefully I don't get guillotined here. Ow! Ah, okay, that's heavy. <laughs> Maybe that's our thumbnail. Oh, okay, come on. Ah, okay. Both of the plastic inserts came out. These suck and they're bad and I hate them. Now they're back in there, but like, what keeps them in there? I don't know. Do you need help? No, nope, I'm good. I got this. I got this. Look, oh. the people paid good money to watch me struggle. D don't worry about it. It's Taylor's fine. Flexing a lot, yeah. Oh, I oh, went back. Are you okay? If you need to take a break, you should take a break. One second. And if we need to switch to a lighter camera, we should switch to a lighter camera. I'm fine. I'm fine. Dennis, making fine adjustments to this is not going to be possible. Oh, come on. Stop. No! What are you stuck on? Keep getting my fingers crushed. That's going on easy. Are they on there properly? I feel they're full. <laughs> Do they look like they're on there properly? If it's... I thought you were gonna say like, we're done. Like... <laughs> no. Jake said even for his 34s, he had to like crank the bejesus out of these. Ow! I just bruised my palm. Wait, what? What is it even hitting? Okay, well that's progress. Hey, credit to LG for the packing material for this monitor. And if you think this looks horrible, you should have seen what Jake had to do for 16K gaming. That was 16 monitors. I think the whole stand is leaning forward. I think the whole desk is leaning forward. Oh my God. Can we switch to a lighter camera? It's not on right. A recording. So we're down to our fifth string camera operator. Don't move anything heavy and go fill out the fucking form. Dennis. He hurt his back. He was laughing at me. That's why, that's how he did oh, it. Yeah. Well. So if you guys notice the camera's a little, woo! Oh! Yeah, sorry guys. That's, that's Riley. He's helping us out here. <laughs> well, that looks crazy. You know what? I'm going to run my display port and power cables first because this is uh, going to be challenging. I didn't cut an entry slit for a second monitor here. Ow. Oh man. Oh. Riddle me this Riley. Should I go with them not quite butted together, but with the top one angled down at me a little bit, even though that means a slightly bigger gap here? I mean, I feel like you probably should angle it down a bit, eh? How triggered am I gonna get by this gap though? I'm gonna butt them up together. Tightness, that's my specialty. <coughs> Damn. That's what I like, settling. <laughs> It'll do. Yeah, you need mm. help, you need help. No, I can move it. <laughs> okay. Don't move anything heavy. Oh God, that's heavy. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you want me to move the keyboard? Hopefully it won't scratch the glass. No, no, I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh, oh, twist a little. Uh, the people paid good money to see me struggle. And right now they can't see me because I'm behind the monitor. But, oh, I assure you the struggle is real. I think they just need to like that. There's a chance it's still aligned. Oh, oh, that's good. That's where the DP goes in. This is where the second DP goes in. I can't get behind it to lift it, you know? Uh, this is where you could almost need to uh, use help of nope. some kind. Okay, I'm way back. Yeah, you know, it held 50% uh, more than its rated weight. You know what's funny is I believe LG actually moved the nipple from the bottom here to over here in case of installations like this. And I laughed at them at CES. I laughed at them. I was like, nobody's going to do that. <laughs> now all I need to do is get all my windows arranged. Now LG and they're actually third parties that have window management programs that allow you to split your screens up into many more zones than the normal window snap where you just, or arrow snap or whatever they call it now, where you just kind of go like that. But in the meantime, this is where I kind of expect things to land. So I want something for my Microsoft Teams chat. Yes, we use Microsoft Teams. No, it's not perfect, but um, well, we're using it. Uh, 
here, whatever I'm currently writing or uh, reviewing with someone else, you know, a web browser for maybe I'm doing some research or browsing the forum to see what people are saying over there. Uh, here, where I can go through all of our video ideas, this is a much older version of this sheet that I can show you guys because it's all stuff that we did ages ago. And then up here, this is, this is the big one. Being able to stretch out Trello here so that I can see every stage of the production queue um, and all the assignments. I can't show you the writer's ones because there's a lot of projects that we haven't released yet. By the way, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of them. But uh, being able to see what everyone's supposed to be working on all at once and then organize things into it without moving back and forth between different browser windows and stuff like that. Really very excited about this. I'm not 100% sure on the ergonomics. Could I have just put a TV on my desk? Yes, but damn it! This is Linus Tech Tips, okay? It's not how we do things around here. Here, we, we mount our webcams. Where? I'm gonna end up with the solution from all those laptops. Oh, Just put it up no. here and point it up the nose. No! Oh, that's gonna be awful. Now that you're done watching this video, you might actually wanna check out the video where I tried out a 55 inch OLED monitor. Uh, well, TV, I mean, they call it a monitor, whatever. 55 inch OLED display as a gaming monitor. It's pretty cool, it's from Alienware. Uh, go watch that video, it's a good video.